At the Australian Open on the steps of Rod Laver Arena, Russian fans displayed this. In the crowd, Novak Djokovic's father, who appears to support the invasion of Ukraine. Alexander Zalostanov, поздравление от Melbourne, Australia, за нашу братью там у Москвы. With him saying this under his breath. On top of this, supporters in the crowd donned the Z symbol. Not the first time it would rear its ugly head in sports. The International Gymnastics Federation has opened disciplinary proceedings against Russian gymnast Ivan Kuliak. At the Gymnastics World Cup in Doha, Russian competitor Ivan Kuliak donned it. And he did so standing right next to Ukrainian gold medalist Kavtan Ilya. When Vladimir Putin once more used sport to garner support for the invasion, there was Russian swimmer Evgeny Rylov in attendance at a rally wearing the Z. Rylov bagged two gold medals at the Tokyo Games. <laughs> For Putin, a battle cry has been adopted to represent pro-Russian forces, and one supporter carried out Putin's mission of reaching the masses through sports with the symbol emblazoned on their shirt, even with tournament organizers banning it. And in this highly produced propaganda video, Russian men wearing that letter declare their support for the invasion, chanting for Russia, for the president, for Russia, for Putin. An aerial shot shows a giant Z made from the orange and black of the St. George's Ribbon, a traditional symbol of Russian military glory, usually associated with victory over Nazi Germany. We have covered the meaning behind the Russian Z previously. However, to see Djokovic's father support it will undoubtedly raise many questions. What strikes me as odd is the following. According to The Guardian, the spectator with the Z on his shirt was not removed from the Djokovic-Rublev match. Instead, he watched on till its conclusion. At the Western and Tennis Open, this fan, whose name is Lola, was booted from the match because the tennis players from Russia felt uncomfortable with the Ukraine flag being present while they played. A security official would say it exceeded size rules. Of note, many flags are flown at all matches that do indeed exceed allotted dimensions. At Daniil Medvedev's match, this supporter of the war unfurled a flag per Ali Walker a politico that read Kosovo is Serbia, Crimea is Russia. Walker would write above the photos he snapped, not a great look on the main stadium court. That's when after the Djokovic match, the man with the Z across his chest left the stadium. However, a congregation of pro-Russian protesters were outside of it. In a previous match, when Katerna Bandel of Ukraine took on Kamilia Rakimova of Russia, fans snuck a Russian flag inside the playing area and on unfurled it, sparking more controversy. Ukraine's ambassador to Australia and New Zealand strongly condemned the act, writing so on Twitter. Normally, flags can be displayed during matches at Melbourne Park, but Tennis Australia reversed that policy for the two countries involved in the invasion of Ukraine that began nearly a year ago, wrote NBC News. With Djokovic, we heard the name Alexander Zaldostinov from the man posing with certain, right? Zaldostinov is the leader of the motorcycle night wolves who are closely allied with Putin, known sometimes in the media as Putin's angels, and whose flag was spotted outside the Rod Laver Arena in an earlier video. Furthermore, the YouTube channel that posted the video of the Russian supporters outside of Rod Laver Arena was from Aussie Kasich. Now, here's the thing about Aussie Kasich because he allegedly assaulted a 76-year-old man at a Ukraine rally in Sydney, Australia. Boykov, pictured here, called for Russians to show up with symbols and flags, even warning Tennis Australia by saying, brace yourselves, adding, the Russian Empire has had its flag banned. Well, guess what, Tennis Australia? Good luck when the Empire strikes back. Here he was posing for a photo with Igor Gherkin, who is a ruthless individual himself. 
Nickname Igor the Terrible. Gherkin was one of three men found guilty of killing nearly 300 people. In 2014, Igor led a military coup. He is the self-proclaimed leader of Donetsk. Igor remains at large to this day at 52 years old.